Poly Packs. All right, guys, I have wax packs with me. Hey, hey. And we are doing part two of our collection break. So you guys saw part one. Look at all these amazing cards from part one. Yeah, we got we had some real good ones actually. Some nice Hall of Famers that uh, Ben walked us through in his uh, on his channel for part one, and we went through all the baseball ones. But now we have the the remainder that we're going to go through here. We got a bunch of football, early '80s football. We got some mystery cards here that Ben uh, <laughs> put aside, so we'll we'll find out about that. And then we have some that we hadn't that we haven't gone through yet, and uh, so we got some pretty exciting cards in there that I know Ben's really going to like. So. Without further ado, let's uh, jump into the football. So, Ben, you looked through these. They're broken out by players. So, Chris Collinsworth, you know, is the announcer. Oh, boy. Everybody knows him <laughs> and loves his and the same picture, too, I noticed. Huh? Yeah, they got real creative there. <laughs> nice job, Tops. They didn't have a lot of stock photos for him. Oh, but not bad. So, what year are we looking at here? Because I don't know football. A lot of these are 81. And they're kind of between 77 and 82, essentially. Most oh, of these yes. cards. These look like 82 tops there. So there's Dwight Clark, which if you guys know, he yeah. caught the famous touchdown from Joe Montana to win That's the Super Bowl. That's right. That, I always thought he was a tight end. I didn't realize he was a wide receiver. Hm. He just kind of looks like a tight end. He was big. He was a big boy. And we got the team so, leader, so I guess he's there as well. So he's not a Hall of Famer or anything, but certainly holds a place in history and had a lot of big numbers. Definitely a uh, recognizable name. Yeah. Dwight Clark. So there you have him. Then we have oh, Ahmad Rashad. Oh, all right. NBA inside stuff. That's, That's what I remember right. the most about. But he was a great receiver. An all-pro for many years for the Vikings. Um, and married to Patricia Rashad? Felicia, uh, Felicia, Felicia Rashad. 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 That's yeah. right. The from Cosby. the Cosby Show. There we go. And the owner of a great uh, mustache there. there. there <laughs> nice. He's such a, like, a nice, happy guy. You never, I never realized he was a football player. Until I bet he could be tough and like, competitive. Right? Yeah, he was always just this happy-go-lucky announcer. So as you can see, all wow. pro. So he's all pro wide receiver. Yeah, he definitely was very good there. All right, we're getting under. Otis, now, Anderson. Otis Anderson. What do you know about Otis uh, Anderson? Well, I know he was a running back for the Giants. The Giants, yeah. This is with him through Cardinals. Oh, I didn't. I didn't realize he was that old. But. So nice. saw some good numbers from him. Um, not, a, not a Hall of Fame, but. Tackled by the bit. Oh, yeah. yeah. He definitely had giant some. Giant shoulder pads. Yeah, some, look at that. 16, ah, oh, the camera's all fuzzy, but. 1,600 yards, 1,300 yards, 1,300 yards, so. That's some good seasons. Not bad. Joe Theismann, who had a great oh, career, was a great college player, too. Most known at this point, though, for. Getting his leg broken his by LT. <laughs> by Lawrence Taylor. Giants. So I wanted to throw in a couple of fun Giants uh, ones for you there. Played for Toronto. So they threw in the, I guess Toronto had a team back then, huh? Maybe, Maybe. just the single, the single oh, face. Look at that. This, the they have that for the punters, not for the <laughs> quarterbacks. We got Ron Jaworski. Oh. And, you know, I kind of feel like he's a butt of a joke a little bit. But at the same time, <laughs> you look at his numbers, and they're remarkable. So, again, not a Hall of Famer or anything, but um, certainly a... And a, a recognizable player. name. He does a lot of announcing now, too, and mm -hmm. everything else. So Phil Sims, there's another guy for you. Nice, yes. Everybody, uh, my sister really liked him. She always thought he was cute. Archie Manning, who, not a Hall of Famer, was a great college player, and honestly, a great NFL player, but not as good as his sons. Well, it's hard to be as good as his son, that's for sure. Archie Griffin was a great running back for Ohio State, and then had a kind of a middling pro career after a, you know, a kind of rough start, so. Um, yeah. But again, one of those names that you that some people would recognize. Now uh, we're on the Hall of Famers. Walter Payton. Oh, no, what is this? Someone taped up the they corners taped there? both uh. sides of it. I mean, what? Why would somebody do it's this? It's a shame. What a, I mean, like, what an oh. amazing player. If you ever, like, if you've not watched him actually play, if you only know his legend, go watch some of his of his runs. I mean, they, they call him Sweetness and the Juice for a reason. Like, or not the Juice, that's OJ. <laughs> sweetness, they call him Sweetness for a reason. Like, that guy, he was just impossible to catch. That, that's too bad. That's still a bummer about the card. Mm -hmm. uh, but, yeah, some league leaders for him. I mean, and Terry Bradshaw. Terry Bradshaw. Looking much thinner. In his playing days. And some more hair. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Not a whole lot. <laughs> Very so serious. A few Terry Bradshaws in there, which is pretty good. Nice. Oh, Ozzie Ozzie Newsom. Newsom. So all from all here on out, they're all Hall of Famers. So Ozzie Newsom, the tight end for the Browns. There you go, B leader. Kellen oh. Winslow, one of the greatest receivers of all time before the modern era. I guess that counts as the modern era. Just it's 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 old for us. <laughs> Especially in this time, but he also had a, a son that played for a while for Tampa Bay, right? Mm -hmm. And I think the Jets maybe for a small time. Some more Kellen Winslow. Oh, there he is. I, I didn't even Cooper. see him over there. This time pair with Dwight Clark. 
Right. So quite a little Kelly Winslow uh, collection. Doing the OBJ before OBJ did it, right? Mm -hmm. The one-handed. They probably didn't even have <laughs> yeah. Dan Fouts and Roger, Roger Stalbach. That's, that's a good card, the two of them. Yep, so both, both of those guys Hall of Famers. Nice. We just watched him in... Uh, uh, have, not, not Happy Laura, the uh, the Adam Sandler movie where uh, Waterboy. Oh, yeah, that oh, yeah that's right. That's right. <laughs> there so, he is, Dan well, Fouts. For those of us who like grew up with listening to guys <laughs> as announcers, you almost forget, like, wow, they were actually real players back that's then. That's right. You didn't realize they actually played football. I guess that would be like the Tony Romo's now. Of yeah, like, oh, else oh Tony Romo played football? <laughs> yeah. So some Dan Fouts in there. James Lofton. Mm -hmm. Great wide receiver for the Packers, Hall of Famer, Pro Bowler, numerous times. Nice. What is this one? Is this the some sort of? I couldn't figure that out. It was interesting. Almost like the glossy All Stars for it's, tops, I mean, it's, but yeah, it's tops. And on, on the back, it looks like it obviously it connects to some larger picture. So you gotta, yeah, you got to get like the, a poster. Was this like the Super Bowl with the Redskins versus the Dolphins in the Super Bowl that year? I don't know. All right, we got, you got James Lofton as yeah, the so league leader, all pro. I said all these guys are early 80s cards. Steve as you Larson, can see. again, one of the best receivers of all time. Played for the Seahawks. 83. Would catch everything. Nice. And Tony Dorsett. Oh, a good running back. Cowboys running back. A couple cards from him. And over a thousand yards rushing. Randy White, not very exciting, but he gets a tackle. I have no idea who that guy is. So, Hall of Famer there, defensive tackle for the Cowboys for years and years. Oh, 79 tops. Nice. Big Some guy. of these cards are in rough shape. Yeah. Marcus Allen, sticker. Nice. <laughs> him, and, him and Bo Jackson together on the Super Techno Bowl in 1986. Oh, was the, that was the un, unstoppable ten, tandem. Can't beat him. So there's Joe Montana. Oh, Ken Anderson. <laughs> Don't forget Ken Anderson. Everybody's laughing at that card for the Ken Anderson part. That's right. What's Joe Montana doing? So mucking up that card. Gene Upshaw, the Raiders. Lyman, not very exciting, but there's Franco Harris. Uh, he had that big catch right off the guy, off the so helmet. The miracle at the, uh, yeah. the Meadowlands or whatever, right? I mean, the uh, so the Steelers, a number of Steelers players, Jack Lambert in there. Oh, mean Joe mean Green. Joe so this Green. is the Steelers, the, 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 the machine or whatever, the, the, the 70s when they were just could not be beat. John Riggins running back for the Redskins. Anthony Munoz, more modern player. He was oh, kind of yeah. more in the 90s for us. 80s and 90s. It's Ken Stabler, the Oilers quarterback. And Dalton oh, and my Bob God. Greasy, with, with those amazing glasses. Wow. You'd almost think that was a joke. <laughs> somebody almost. Yeah, it was like a prank. Somebody <laughs> yeah. said, hey, Bob, where are these glasses? Yeah. Like, oh, yeah? I'll wear those glasses. It's like, it's like some bad 80s movie where like the team stinks and the quarterback can't see and he's throwing the ball around. I mean, those would break instantly, right? <laughs> yeah, right? All right, so then we have uh, uh, that, that uh, card in the case there is an Art Monk rookie card. And no it's way. In pretty darn good shape. Wow. Art Monk, the famous Redskins receiver and Hall of Famer. So what year is this one? This is a 1981. Wow. That is a good card. Again, just randomly in there with the rest of them. I put it in the case. Oh, you did? Yeah. That was a good move. That, just... that's, that's nice. All yeah, right. So, so these are the fun ones. So a couple start off with just a couple old Topps cards because you know how we love this. I love yeah. this set this year. This is just a 64, a good 68. Wow. Just a good design. I like the way it looks. Um a little rough shape, but it's also for the year, for the year, the, year that's the Nolan Ryan rookie, isn't it? I think. Uh, yes, you're right. That's not it, though. That is. <laughs> that would be. A that would be. Find. That would be. Yeah, that would be its own video. So just a few old ones, but I, you know, mm -hmm. I like those old cards. Seventy. We got some seventy-five. These ones definitely look like they've Love been through the the ringer here. Yeah. The Tigers. Wow, this one. Someone picked it off the ground. So another Frank Boyle rookie. I know we pulled oh, one out so you, randomly you before. Missed so we missed two. One. All right. So yeah. now we got two, and we got the Willie McGee rookie. rookie card. Two of them. Nice. So, all right. Oh. So now we get to the interesting things. Do you know Dan Deerdorf? Yeah, he was. Well, he was another announcer for a while there. Also, he was Webster's dad. Oh, that's who it was. That's who it was. Oh, so it was. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about but that. I, I seem to recall he's, he's on the Cardinals here. Didn't he play for the Dolphins? Isn't that what is not his main thing? Or maybe I'm wrong here. Anyway, I don't see it there. Maybe it's here. Nope. So, and then Danny Ainge rookie oh, card nice. for Duel. baseball. The prime time before prime time. Yeah, before anybody knew. So, uh, yeah, so, as, for those who may not know, right, he definitely was a NBA all-star. He played a long time for the Phoenix Suns. He had some good years. Mm -hmm. And I know he for he was recently, he was uh, an executive with the 
with Celtics, the Celtics, yeah. but I think he just moved. He, he just, just took another job just somewhere. Just stepped down, yeah. As like president or GM or something. Okay. Yeah, he went up to another organization. I forget where. Kent to cool oh, this guy. I just feel like every time I see him now, and he's in his full yellow suit here, oh. the glasses and everything. Plus, we get to see a then and now of him for the next one, which he always wore those glasses, but oh, they just wow. weren't tinted all the time. Well, that's because the sun wasn't out. These are like those, <laughs> those glasses. Yeah, those are the... Yes. Oh, my goodness. This guy is a trip. So, I mean... I... I didn't know who he was until I started doing these videos, and now I just can't get enough Kent to cool it. As much as I want to knock on the guy, you look at the ERA, though, it's 2.75 for his career. I mean, pretty good. I mean, too bad he was on, like, the Pirates. I'm sure he could have won more games if he was somewhere else, but, man, looking pretty skinny in, in this one. That's a must be like, well, it's the stripes. Game. Yeah, yes, yeah, very flattering to him. All right, so these next two, you might wonder why these are here. It's Brett Butler and, and Mike Moore. Nothing fancy about the players, but look at their hats. They are mesh back hats. When were major leaguers wearing mesh back hats? Like uh -huh. plastic mesh. I almost, yeah. Like like a trucker's cap. Well, it's hard to compare the, pot, the pirate's oh, one. Yeah. That's the awful hat. Huh. I, I guess I never really looked at it before. I didn't realize it. Eagle Eye Ben. Nolan Cromwell. Uh, why did I choose this one? I chose this one because, oh, they didn't even wear shoulder pads back then. <laughs> Was he really? You think he was just warming up? I think uh, it must be. I mean, like, I, it's, you it's, gotta be insane not to wear shoulder pads. Uh, Roland Office. I just thought his name was funny. And he's Roland Office. Roland Office. All right. <laughs> now here's your free whopper. Yes. There it is. You did keep it. And a croissant <laughs> for 99 cents. We can, we can give you a whopper for free. The croissant witch, we, you gotta pay for that. Maybe, maybe, uh, maybe we'll do this as a giveaway if somebody wants to go to. See if this actually works. There, I know yeah, there there's an expiration date in 87, 87 but you know what? Yeah. Just say, hey, I just came across this. Uh, what? Sh Shooty Babbitt. I, Shooty I, I, Babbitt? I was just taken by that name. Um, what did so. he call himself? Mock Shooty Babbitt? What's this? Probably Mark, right? Mark Shooty Babbitt. What's this on the back? Shooty. Shooty. His name is Shooty. Shooty. It's got to be Mark. Mark Babbitt. Are. Shooty Babbitt. If your name is Mark Babbitt, you definitely go know. Shooty. It looks like an O to me. I don't know. <laughs> uh, Booby, Booby Clark. Booby Clark. Nice. And then a rookie card. Oh, from your favorite Rusty. guy. Rusty. <laughs> Good old Rusty. <laughs> Rusty can't say his real last name. But... As soon as I saw that one, I was like, oh. I got to show this one to Paul. Nice. The rookie card. And it looks like he's 100 in that picture. You know. Hey, look at the socks you know. Look at those, those collars. They look like janitors. Yeah. Those are <laughs> awful. So those are all the ones that we found uh, in there. And now right. we're getting some ones that are very interesting. The the first ones here are all you because they're more modern and that's not my forte. All right. So let's see if we can do this in a way that... <laughs> all right. Nice. All right, all right. So this one I think is just... He just must have opened a box of this stuff. Um, uh, I, I, don't, I don't really remember. This is Fleer 2004, but it's... It's weird how it is. It's not like their careers. It's like breaking it down to the stats of like how they did in each inning. So it's like a special stat or something? Yeah. So it's like, and they and they call them hot prospects. But I can't remember if 2004, the draft edition, if these were rookie cards. Because Andrew Jones' rookie card would be pretty cool. It's in um, good shape too. Yeah, it's in real good shape. But I, I can't remember if that was really his rookie or not. And of course, it's not Jeff Bagwell's rookie. We know yeah. that much. But... So I, that's why I was kind of confused by this whole set. I don't know really what these cards are. Miguel Tejada is another good one. But I don't think it's their actual rookies. But I almost wonder if it like broke down their rookie year or something like that. And so You finally get your tops gold. It's yeah, right. It's 93, Pat, though. I'll take it as I can get it. <laughs> Pat Kelly. And then, of course, we got some other 93 guys here. And plus Willie Banks. You know, so. Who doesn't want John Franco, <laughs> Willie Banks? Obviously, some commons here. So we didn't... Totally go through all of these guys. Louis Soho. Always love Louis Soho. John Smoltz, pretty good. Roger Clemens. Tony Gwynn, all in good shape. And then another gold card with Mike Stanley. So those were just some of the quote-unquote newer ones, if you will. All right, so now we're getting to the exciting stuff. I actually stuff. love 93 score select. I've opened a lot of them, and I get tired of them after a while, but, like, I don't know. I like those cards. But here you can tell he struck out. <laughs> he's not happy. And so let's it, take a picture of that. Put, put that on, on that card, right? And in there, yeah, and there he's like too. popping out or something, <laughs> right? Ugh. All right. So now we got some more leaf. Oh, so, he's a six leaf. Okay. So I mean, this <laughs> he could not look. Ah, uh, he, he doesn't take a good baseball card. <laughs> he does not. 
But this leaf set was, was actually pretty cool overall. Some miscut a little bit. Oh, look, that's a, that's a yeah. second Pete Rose, too, that same one. So that's pretty good. One. And then we got no your line. favorite guy. Look at that. So, got and, a few of those. And then we got a Lee Smith looking very wow. inquisitive. Uh, he, not sure what's going like on. Looks so young there. That's the second year card for him at, at worst. So. All right. And then hold on one down. second. Oh, All right, Rhino, so we got some. Rhino. There you go. One of your one of your guys. We got There's another Nolan. Nolan Ryan card. Oh, Not right. in good shape. Sean Dunstan. There you go. You're right. All the good stuff is back here. <laughs> Keep that aside. Another Nolan Ryan oh, card. League that. leaders. J.R. Richard. You got the 83. Okay. You got Definitely your other Sandberg. <laughs> yeah, just put that in your PC. <laughs> another one. Different year, yeah. but. Same guys, different year. And then here's, since Four you selects, like the select yeah, so yeah. much, you got, you know, Very the good. Nolan Ryan. 85, 90, 87, Another Sandberg. Sandberg. Look at this. Did you, these these? Did you put all these here? You put all these here, didn't you? Well, I, I got through these, but I don't think I, I don't think I specifically put them there. I, I think I. Oh, those are in great shape. Yeah, these ones are pretty good. That yeah. one, the corner's a little dinged up, though. But you got another highlights, another thing, and then you got a good mm -hmm. Donruss one. A little there miscut. Go. That's good. So, hold on. I don't want to get too far ahead. All right, here, hold on. I'm going to save the best for last year. Hold on a second. <laughs> the suspense is killing all of you, I think, right? All right, now I got it set up the way I want. <laughs> right, so we got our Barry Larkin rookie. Right. Well, that's and now, our second year, Eckersley? Yeah, not the rookie card, but uh, the rookie second card year. Before. Yeah, so the rookie, rookie card. The card was somewhere right here. Oh, here it is. Right. See, now he's getting a little bit more of a pro. He's growing his hair out. Oh, where did he go? So. Yeah. Yeah. And then Rod Rock Carew, Reggie, Reggie Jackson, Jay. and we got Pete Rose, another inquisitive look by Lee Smith, Dennis Eckersley, 92. These were already Smith. all in sleeves? These were already all in sleeves, yeah. so they, you can tell they're in good shape. So they're they a lot. Really like their, their Eckersley then, huh? Yeah, so they, uh, well, they're definitely in better shape than... Uh, and then they were in, uh, for these other ones. Oh, and in another Ripken, we had three or four of those. So this is real good shape, just yeah. miscut. Yeah. Ricky Henderson, 83. So now we get to the, the, the good one. We got... Tony Gwynn rookie card. Tony this Gwynn with rookie. Our 84. That is great. I've never actually... Let me, so, let me hold one of those. Let me hold it. Let me hold yeah. it. All right. Never held a Tony Gwynn rookie card. There it is. And it's in really good shape. This is the worst picture you can take of a guy. Yeah, like a nice, nice butt shot. Oh, yeah. Running it off. Your big butt. That is in good shape. That's nice. All right, and this was the one, the big moment we've all been waiting for, the oh, Ryan Sandberg rookie card. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> this is in great shape. So I have to tell you the story. I have one of this card. I don't have any other Ryan Sandberg rookies. I have one of this rookie card that I got when I was 11. I In the back of Beckett, a monthly, you know, the baseball card price guy that I was a subscriber of, they had classified ads because that's the only way you can talk to other card collectors. And I found a guy in Boston. I was living in Iowa at the time. Uh, who sold me his Ryan Samber rookie card for 60 bucks. I sent it to him in the mail. He <laughs> sent me back in the mail, and I still had that same one nice. in the case. But this is in remarkable shape, too. Uh, you can you can replace it now. Man, this is great. I feel see, I knew, I, see, that's what happened. I was thumbing through it, and I came across it. I was like, all right, we got to save that one for the end. You can't, <laughs> no, that is can't go too early on that Absolutely one. phenomenal. Great way to end it. Yeah. Look at that. Nice. So, I mean, like, honestly, just for, like, just that last little bit, that's worth the 25 bucks right there. Oh, yeah, just these cards alone and, you know, all the Hall of Fames we pulled out. But, I, yeah, I, overall, I'm pretty happy with what we got. I think, again, we got our, our money's worth for sure, and we got some really cool cards to look at. And, and a free Whopper. And you can't go wrong with a free Whopper. So <laughs> let us know what you guys think. Let's, uh, let us know what your some of your favorite cards were. If we pulled your favorite player or something like that, let us know. Reach out. We can always work out getting the cards to you and stuff like that. So... But until then, I guess we'll be on the hunt for the next collection, huh? Yeah. All right, guys. We'll see you later. Bye.